Welcome back to the Tech Fighter channel. Today we're going to have a competition video for protective cases for your iPhone X. And that's what we call it on this channel, the iPhone X. The competitors are as follows. The UAG Monarch in a crimson red. Next competitor, the Otterbox Defender, the classic of all these high protective cases. The next contender is the Element Roll Cage. After that, we're going to talk about the Exdoria Defense. Uh, if you've noticed, up to here, all of these cases have this little drop tested, approved little insignia there. Basically, they're all 10 foot drop tested or more. And then the final one is this uh, ELV case from Amazon. This doesn't have a specific certification for drops, but it's a highly protective case and it's a bargain too. So let's go ahead and start from the top. We're gonna to start with the UAG Monarch. We're gonna slide the phone right in and check out how easy it is to put it in there. Yep, that's nice and easy. Look at the edges, the resivity is good. Top, bottom, sides, good protection to be able to set the phone down. The openings on the camera are nice and generous. You got pretty good protection there. The openings on the bottom, yep, those will do just fine. The one for the switch, mute and unmute, that's easy to reach. Now the buttons, the buttons have a little bit of a ridge pattern there on the power button and then a plus or minus on the volume. This button happens to not be as responsive as I would like. You can actually press on it and it won't do anything until you press a little bit harder. There you go, okay? So you can see I can put pressure on the case and it doesn't get it every time. I have to press it hard to be able to get the power button to respond. So the protection is good. The case looks great. The openings are great. However, the buttons are not awesome. They're not bad, but they're not awesome. Let's move on to the next case. Uh, by the way, this one retails for 60. That's the most expensive one. So let's go ahead and move on to the Otterbox Defender. Now this is a classic. Uh, we've seen this case forever. It's got you know a little holster that the holster can be used as a stand for those of you who still use holsters. And then the, the actual case itself is a two-part case with a TPU, flexible TPU, and a hard inner lining. Uh, that is connected with these little snaps So um, it's a little bit more complicated to get the phone in there, but it doesn't really take that long But obviously it is longer than you know those other cases that just the phone slips right in So it, this goes in just like all the other Defenders have in the past once it's in the hard case Then you just apply the TPU over it and make sure all the edges go in there nice and snug and then there you go it's done, right? So let's look at the raised edges. Very nice raised edges. Hmm? Very, very well protected for a face down uh, placement of the phone. The camera also has a nice protection. Why this cutout? Man, that's annoying. But oh well, some people like to show off that they have an Apple iPhone, I guess. Um, the openings on the bottom, nice for the speaker and the mic. They have these flaps to uh, make sure no dust gets in there. And then the opening for the mute toggle switch also has, eh, has plenty of room to be able to turn it on and off. The buttons, they are pretty responsive. They don't stick out as high as some of the other cases, but you can hear the click and it doesn't require that much pressure. Maybe a little less pressure than the Monarch case did. The volume buttons, those are good too. So protection is awesome on this case. Buttons are good. The look of the case, it's horrible in my opinion. Some people don't care about that, just care about the protection. So I mean that's a highly protective case. It's been proven over you know, many, many iterations of phones. So let's go ahead and move on to the next case. The next case is this element, the element case. You can put the phone in just the way you did with the Monarch. It just slides right in, goes in real quick. There's protection on the sides, the top and bottom. Not as much as the 
Defender case did, and probably not as much as the Monarch, but still enough to where the screen doesn't touch whatever you're placing the phone on. And the opening for the camera protects the camera well. And the toggle switch for the mute. Yep, that one is easily accessible. The buttons, the buttons are good. Okay, they have a nice raised uh, and contrasting color and shape and very little pressure is required to go ahead and activate it. You can hear the click. Same thing with the volume. Buttons are a go on this case. This is very nice. Uh, there is an additional, I guess, modularity that they built into this case where you can remove this back exoskeleton. It can still be a case this way and then you put this on the top and they call this the roll cage. Why would you want to do this? Well, maybe when you're transporting the phone in a bag or a backpack, you want to protect the screen, you can go ahead and do that this way. It's meant to fit that way, that way. that's why it's called a roll cage. In my opinion, I really didn't have much use for that. Uh, I did it once when I was at the gym, but then I felt, hey, you know, I tried to get to the screen and it was a pain because obviously the screen was blocked. So. It's there if you use it. I guess it's not bad, it's kind of innovative, but it's not that useful for me. As far as the colors, the look of it, I didn't like it as much as some of the other element cases I've tried in the past. Um, this one retails for the same price as a Defender, which is 50 bucks, and it doesn't look that great in my opinion. It doesn't reflect that price in the look of the case. The quality of the case feels good in the hand, but it looks kind of cheaper than many of their previous models and that's because this is the more subdued look they have some others that are like neon green or orange or something and it just doesn't look good in my opinion so the protection is fairly good on this case the buttons are great but the look is just not that awesome so let's go ahead and move on now we're going to be looking at the Extoria defense nice carbon fiber back it has an aluminum trim all the way around it's it's nice and solid so let's go ahead and put the phone in there and it slaps in real easy. It has some pretty good raisivity on the edges, the top, the bottom, the sides, probably equivalent to, uh, to the case we just saw, the element case. So you can set this phone down. The screen will not touch whenever you're facing, putting it, fl placing it face down. The protection on the camera is there. Notice this case is also drop tested to 10 feet, yet it's a lot slimmer, okay? It feels great in the hand. This feels solid. It has some raised corners here for the added protection if it falls. There you go, you can see it there. And uh, the, the buttons are amazing on this case. Very little pressure necessary to get them to activate. And they're also very easy to find without even looking, just by feeling the side of the case. Same thing with the volume up and down. The axis, yep, everything's good here. The openings, oh, something great on the openings on this. Check out these openings. The volume is amazing with this case when you're watching YouTube videos because this phone has stereo speakers. You got sound coming from the top, from the top right here, and you also have sound coming from the bottom but in this case this case actually channels the sound towards you you see how it's open here and you can tell all right that is a really nice extra little option on this case that i really enjoyed so the protection is good on this case the buttons are great i think this looks classy with the carbon fiber this is a really good case overall so let's go ahead and keep going the next case is the one that i got on amazon Oh, by the way, this uh, Xtory Defense also comes in at a really good price of 35 bucks. So that's, it's got that going for it too. So this is the one I got on Amazon. It's called an EOV case and it happens to come with a mount, magnetic mount, and then it has a plate in here. So you can just mount your phone in your car. So it's, it's actually very convenient. You can use it as a stand also. And this case is super cheap. It landed, I think it's like 10 bucks on Amazon. Okay, there's gonna be links to, uh, to all of these products in the description if you wanna get these cases. Look at the protection on this. Man, oh man. Okay, 
So the raised edges, they're pretty good. On this case, I'd say they're probably equivalent to, uh, to the Monarch. Okay. Um, the opening for the camera is generous yet protective. You see that? The opening for the mute switch, it's adequate. The buttons themselves, look at how raised that is. That's pretty good and it's got a rich pattern too. You can get to it without even looking for it. And they're very responsive, the buttons. The raised corners, man, that's lots of protection there. Doesn't that look great? Look at that. The back, it looks pretty good and it's got a little bit of a grip here so you can hold it. Feels really good in the hand except it's a little bit bulkier. I'd say it's uh, between the bulkiness of the Monarch and the uh, Defender. But man, this one comes in at 15, no, 10 bucks on Amazon or maybe, okay, $12. But it also comes with this. I got it because it came with the mount. I mean, I paid almost that much just for the mount. So really, I think my point in bringing this case is to point out to the other case makers that you're just charging way too much money. I mean, come on. You got this one for 60 and this one for almost 10 and the protection is pretty similar, um, you guys need to bring down your prices. I think really the top end case should be maybe about 40 bucks for this one, uh, about 35 for this one, about 30 for the Defender, same for the, for the Extoria. You know, these $60 cases just gotta go. Anyway, so those are the cases. Which one do you like? Which one do you think I'm gonna pick as the winner? There's just so many options for the iPhone, but uh, which one would I pick if I could only have one? That's the way we usually pick the winner of our competition videos. So which one would it be? Right off the bat, I'll tell you, this OtterBox Defender is out. I mean, it provides protection, but so do these other cases and they don't look hideous. So that one is out. Um, this element case, I just was not satisfied with the design they came out with this year. It just doesn't look like the premium case it's supposed to be. So no, I'm not gonna pay 50 bucks for this case. That one's out. So now we're down to these three. Um, this UAG looks great. It really does. And the only issue I had with it was that the volume button was a little mushy. Other than that, this is probably the best looking of the cases, especially if you see them in real life. I mean, this is the one that's been most eye-catching and most people tell me this is the best looking of the bunch. However, with that button, power button being mushy, and the fact that this is priced too high, I just cannot pick this. If I was only gonna have one case, this would not be it. So we're down to these two. Now, I think this is a great value uh, for $12, you cannot go wrong. If you're looking for a budget case, I would highly recommend you go with this. And this mount is actually a very solid mount. I've had several mounts in the past to put on my AC vents, and this is the best one I've had. And both for 12 bucks, you can't go wrong. The protection is great, the buttons are good, the openings are great as well. It's just a little bulky for my taste, and it looks a little cheaper because, you know, it really is. So that's really not a fault, but if I could only have one case, I probably wouldn't pick this one. So that means that this is my winner. Yeah, we got a winner here, the Exoria Defense. And why did I go with this one? The price is right at 30, 35 bucks. It's got the cool carbon fiber look. It looks very nice. It's not that bulky, yet it still provides the protection of a 10 foot drop. The buttons are extremely tactile clicky, whatever you want to call them, they work great. It feels great in the hands. There's really nothing I can think of negative about this. And as an added positive, I put a little metal plate in it and it works with that vent mount that I'm using in my uh, vehicle. And that vent mount serves as a stand as well. See? So this is my winner, the Exdoria Defense top of the line case for extra protection while still keeping that sleek look on your iPhone X. So since this is a giveaway video, a competition video, there's got to be a giveaway, right? So I'm going to be giving away at least one of these cases, maybe two of them. So please subscribe, like the video, 
put a comment in here in the comment section and I'm going to be announcing in the comment section who the winner is of what case. By the way, I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Instagram. So if you follow me there, you'll have an even greater chance of winning. Thanks a lot for your attention, guys. Hasta la vista.